get loud and vocal and stand up and demand justice for all those lives that were taken unlawfully and brutally. Um, so justice for all of those who have died. Thank you for your time uh, to take that moment of silence. Our next speaker up will be JP, who's going to speak about the issue of postal banking. Is it JP? Hey there. Um, I am not Sharon. Sharon was supposed to speak, but I am subbing for her, so bear with me here. Um, just a few brief words about uh, postal banking and what we're trying to achieve with it. Uh, postal banking is basically very simple. It's, it's simply providing financial services to people um, throughout, the, throughout the country um, through and at your local post office. There are, you know, tens and tens of thousands of post offices all around the country, many in places where there aren't banks easily reachable. So if we could go back to what we had uh, earlier in the previous century where we had some postal services at banks, I mean, we had <laughs> banking services at, at post offices, um, we could um, both provide a financial boost to the post office and we could um, and um, we could provide these services to people who need them. Uh, so where do, where do things stand on these kind of proposals? Well, there's a lot of good news and there's a lot of bad news. Um, the good news, one piece of good news is that in order to do postal banking at post offices, we don't need to take, Congress doesn't need to take any action. And you know what that would involve. Uh, the, post, the post office does have the authority to uh, authorize uh, postal banking. Um, the bad news is that the post office has the authority to authorize postal banking because the uh, postmaster general and the board of directors are not exactly uh, uh, favorable to these ideas, as far as we know. Um, the good news is that the Office of the Inspector General of the Post Office um, has just recently commissioned a study um, to, to be out in just a few months um, on the nuts and bolts of providing postal banking services um, at, at post offices around the country. Um, the bad news is that the Inspector General of the Post Office is basically at war with the Postal Service, and the Postal Service, the Postmaster General, basically ignores anything the Inspector General says. Uh, so there's this huge conflict, um, but hopefully something good will come out of this Inspector General report when it does come out in just a few months. Um, the good news is that um, if it does come to pass, we're going to help lots and lots of people who are currently unbanked. There are a lot of people who are unbanked in this country and could use these services. Uh, the bad news is it probably won't help the undocumented because you would still need, you know, documentation. Um, one other thing I'd like to really mention just briefly is that we don't necessarily need postal banking. Um, to affect uh, what it could do. Uh, Oakland is the site of the only nonprofit uh, check cashing and payday lending uh, entity in the country. It's in Fruitvale. Um, it's called Community, Community Check Cashing. It, uh, it provides financial services at about one-third to one-half the cost of all these crazy payday loan uh, little outfits you see all around town. Um, the, bad news, the bad news is that nobody knows about it. So I'm telling you that this thing exists, and we could replicate it, it even again, here in Berkeley. Say it again, the name. The name is Community Check Cashing. And I have a few folders here, if people want them. Get it online. Yeah, it's online, community check cashing. Um, and so that's about it. I would like to invite anyone who um, is interested after 
uh, the sing-along. Um, we are going to, a few of us are going to stand around and answer people's questions about the, uh, about the lawsuit, about the encampment, uh, about, um, uh, about the sale, and anything else you want to ask. Um, that's going to be after the sing-along. Uh, this is being put on by the Berkeley Post Office Defenders, which I'm a member of. So, uh, if you're interested in finding out more, I mean, there's been stuff that's been going on every day. Sorry. <laughs> Just join us. Thank you.